Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted unto you, and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Jesus now said, this is the hour of darkness. And he sat with the disciples at table. Watch this. A powerful covenant was going to take place. Jesus said, guys, it's time for you to eat bread and take wine. And the disciples said, we've been hungry. We can't wait. Jesus said, hold on. Something is happening here you do not know. In John, when you read from verse 6 down to 8, Jesus began to speak. And he shared another spiritual mystery that it is possible to come into a man by eating his flesh and his blood. Hold on. What is the mystery of marriage? What is the mystery of marriage? Two people. Come, my dear. When you understand this, you will know how it is possible for us to come into Christ. Hallelujah. Watch this. This is a lady on her own I'm someone on my own. We come together and by a divine pronouncement. Is that true? A divine pronouncement. They say we are husband and wife. We have become one flesh. Alright? Then when a man sleeps with his wife, they now give birth to one entity that is a combination of both of them. Is the culmination of their oneness. So the child that is born is the ultimate demonstration that the man and the woman are truly one. Is that true? Help me. Is it true? So Jesus, listen, Jesus, who serves as the second Adam, now sits with his Eve, the bride. And that was a wedding matrimony that was going to go on there. But they did not understand. Listen to me. The church is called the bride of Christ. Jesus is called the second Adam. Just like the first Adam was betrothed toward his wife. So Jesus is about to be betrothed to his bride. Are you getting the revelation? But the people did not understand. And it was 12. Only 12 of them. Because 12 is the prophetic number for government. And the government represents the people. Are you understanding this now? So Jesus sits at table and he takes of the cup. Praise the Lord. Watch this. He already told them in John. He said, if there is a possibility for you to eat my flesh, drink my blood, you can have my life. And what was his life? The life of God. Look at the spiritual laws that were being obeyed. To transfer the life of God into the life of man. Are you getting the point? It had to be done on legal, on legal grounds. And he said, this, just like a priest announces, I now declare you husband and wife. Jesus standing as the high priest said, this is my cup of the new covenant that I am now entering with you. Drink this as often as you can. Are you getting me now? And he broke the bread. He said, take my body. My body that is given for you. And when they took it and they ate it, Jesus laughed. Because they had now satisfied the spiritual law that can permit the world to come into the man. So, I, I'm, please permit me to use a word that may sound vulgar. It's like... A man sleeping with his wife to give birth to a baby. That's what we call the passion of the Christ. Are you getting my point? The church in Christ going to the cross to birth a new seed. How do I communicate this? Oh Lord, help me. All the while, Satan did not know this. And Satan kept moving the people. Kill Jesus. Notice, Jesus refused to die. Because if he just died like that, it would be a waste. 
man was not involved just like a, a woman cannot sleep with herself or a man sleep with himself they need two of them to produce that child are you getting my point so the communion was necessary for crucifixion to make sense and the shedding of blood to make sense are you getting what i'm saying the only way i see one or two small children here if not i would have used the mystery of marriage to explain to you what really happened but let's god will grant us grace you are understanding in jesus name that's why marriage is a serious thing to god because it was the principle that was used to redeem man are you getting my point so jesus immediately after the communion now he had the legal right to become sin are you getting my point then he went to get semeny when he went to get semeny look at immediately after the communion he went to get semeny and he started crying why was he crying i will tell you why he was crying he was crying because now on legal basis he needed to become the second adam how did the first adam become a fallen man the holy spirit left him so at the garden of eden i mean at gethsemane just like the garden of eden are you seeing now they were all gardens the holy ghost had to leave jesus that was why jesus was crying he said is there a possibility the psalmist knew this and he was speaking he said take not your holy spirit from me it was a prophetic statement he said cast me not away from your presence he was not singing a song he said take not your holy spirit so the holy spirit was taken from jesus at that point he fully became man seen able to take the nature of man and from there they caught him and he looked helpless he could not do anything the prophecy of isaiah 53 begins it says who has believed our report in other words if we explain this to men will they believe that god disguised himself became a man he said who had believed our report that whoever believes that report the arm of the lord will be shown to him that salvation he said who has believed that report hallelujah so jesus went to the cross now all the things that happened to jesus was very important a crown of thorn was put on his head because man lost dominion and the symbol of dominion is the crown of the king so everything that happened from there was the exchange everybody say the exchange so everything we were not christ became so that we will become what he is you get the revelation so they put the crown of thorns on his head they didn't even know what they were doing and he kept quiet when they started flogging him when they started flogging him it was very very although he was in pains but it was the fulfillment of isaiah's prophecy watch this when they were flogging him what started coming out everybody what started coming out and i told you that every time blood is shed the issue of death begins to be negotiated because without the shedding of blood there is no what remission of sins that means there is no pardoning from death the moment the blood of jesus started touching the earth from which man was created it was a mystery and they were flogging jesus christ tearing his flesh the bible says he shall see the travail of his soul because man did not offend satan man offended god are you getting me so according to the justice of god either man or somebody else must be punished to the degree of that offense for god to be appeased if i steal your laptop and they catch me and they say i'm going to spend 10 days in the prison that punishment comforts you it's a reward for that stealing so the bible says god will see the travail of whoever that scapegoat is and a time will come when it will satisfy his heart for the offense of man then justice would have had his cause are you getting me so satan made them to be beating jesus christ and they did not know they led him to the cross it was a tree that made man fall it would be a tree that would redeem man and so they went to the cross and when they hung there watch this 
Jesus looked at them. And when he looked at them, watch a mystery that happened at the cross. Do you know, I told you that the passion of the Christ can be likened to intercourse between a man and a woman to produce a child. I'll prove it to you. Do you notice that at the cross, like the climax of that intercourse, who was there? The mother of Jesus. Where was the father? Because we were going to be born of the spirit. The mother of Jesus was there. Are you getting my point? And then John was standing there. Is that true? And it was called John the beloved. Jesus said, you people are mourning. You don't know what you represent here. He said, mother, behold what? Your son. And son, behold the woman that gave birth to you. It was a coded language. Because women are gates in the spirit. The only gates through which another life can pass. Hallelujah. And when Jesus hung on that cross. While his blood was dripping. In the realm of the spirit. The blood was not just falling everywhere. The blood was falling in a specific container. It was the life. Zoe was just giving way please listen very very important and jesus hung not as the christ but jesus who had become seen jesus the career of joshua selman's sin jesus the career of maman's sin jesus the car are you getting my point now on that cross that was what paul saw he said, I have been crucified with Christ. What did Paul see? Hallelujah. And now Jesus looked up. And he said, it is finished. What was he seeing? At what point did he know that it was finished? And then he died. I've taught it again and again. When sinners die, where do they go to? So Jesus died sin. Not just a sinner. So where would he go to? He couldn't have gone to heaven because the spirit of adoption that seals men was not on him and he went there was joy in hell all kinds of joy unspeakable all of a sudden jesus shows up in hell hallelujah and i hope you know well we'll talk about that the compartment of hell called hades the place of the dead I know there have been a lot of debates about that. I won't go into that. But the saints of all were there. In First Peter, the Bible tells us that Jesus went there, preached the gospel to them. Is that true? <laughs> when Jesus went, Satan looked and that was when he knew that this was Adam coming to collect back the keys. The second Adam. The first Adam was there. He was part of all the people together with Father Abraham and the rest. The place of the dead and jesus the bible says all the cohorts of hell were on him they were trying to stop him when god saw the travail of his soul and justice was made listen very powerful the bible says jesus shook them making a public show of them all this drama happened in hell oh. and immediately that happened he went to satan satan himself and said give me the keys adam gave you in the garden of eden Give it to me you see that and yeah that's what happened revelation chapter one i am he that was dead but now is alive and i hold the keys where did he get it he got it in hell give that keys of dominion that gave you access over the earth because until jesus died and collected it satan was the god of this system legally what adam should have been that's why satan took jesus and said come he took him to a mountain and showed him the riches. Jesus never argued with Satan because he was not lying. Satan oh, dragged Jesus to a mountain. He said, come, all these glories, I will give it to you. Satan said, because it has been given to me. He was mocking Jesus. Adam gave it to me and Jesus said, no problem. It's a matter of time, I will strip you of it. When he collected it, watch this 
he went to the prison isaiah 61 to open the prison gates to those who are bound you see what the prophet was saying he opened that prison and abraham and the rest they joined him and when he resurrected the bible says graves were open whose graves is it not in your bible graves were open and the saints of old came out they walked in the streets they knew them they knew them let me prove to you they knew them at the transfiguration of jesus when elijah and moses appeared what did peter say he said wow thank god we are here let us make three tents one for you one for moses one for elijah who told him hallelujah jesus resurrected came back into this realm and he was about to finish the sacrifice as the high priest so when mary wanted to touch him she said rabboni I said no don't touch me i paid so much price to make sure that i get this blood and right now i'm going to the heavenly tabernacle the book of hebrews so jesus enters he was both the lamb and the high priest and i told you there is a law that the age of the lamb determine the validity of the atonement so the blood of god which is the life of god who is the ancient of days the ageless one that blood was drained and when jesus went to heaven he poured it upon the heavenly tabernacle the moment that happened he came down he said guys touch me touch any part you want to touch it no longer can defile me the transaction has been done this was the revelation paul saw and said wow had they known this they would not have crucified the lord of glory so satan was part of those who acted the movie to make sure man was saved that's why every time you mention the blood it reminds him of his foolishness every time you mention the blood it reminds him that the price had been paid and that he was part of those who ensured that the price was paid hallelujah watch this i'm about to round up when they touched him jesus said all hail he said all authority in the heavens and in the earth has been given unto me and he began to teach them a lot of things these were the mysteries that he was teaching them for 40 days in acts chapter 1 before he finally did the bible says he was with them a period of 40 days teaching them on the matters of the kingdom he was sharing this thing with them and paul now telling the hebrew church he said let us therefore the blood somebody has paid the price with his life every time you say blood of jesus with revelation what you are saying is whatever will stop me from entering this let the life of god give me access to step in are you seeing that now so if the traditional rulers in your village and so on and so forth they have been sacrificing before you were born and they believe they can lay claims and you come in through the blood suddenly the price of the blood opens the gate and he say walk out you are free you can shout blood of jesus and remain in captivity because there is no knowledge and because there is no revelation or you have not known how to activate that which christ has done so i come from a place with witchcraft for instance i come from a place with killing and all of a sudden i realized that this blood was shed for me and i stand and in the name of the lord jesus christ i begin to speak the moment i say blood of jesus because demons are not like men they don't have short memory it's as clear as yesterday before them what jesus did and so when i begin to plead the blood what i mean is i begin to call the price that was paid for my freedom just like somebody wants to harass you and you say is this not my receipt did i not pay school fees was it not complete what then is the accusation And the Bible says, every time we take of the bread 
which is a type of his body. Listen. And we take of the cup, which is a type of his blood. We are not just satisfying hunger, but we are re-enacting a revelation. The same way people offer sacrifices again to remind the gods that we are still loyal. Over this land, it still belongs to you. Even after 100 years, gods, you are still the ones in charge. Every time we take this, we are not only speaking to God, but we are speaking to the gates of hell. And we are saying we are still one with Christ. And this is the proof. We are eating of his body. We are drinking of his blood. That means we have access to his life. Because the life of that flesh is in the blood. And when we take it, that life becomes part of our inheritance. And then it can open the doors of sickness. It can open every kind of legal door. The blood. The life of God. Watch this. Although this is ordinary zobo or drink or whatever. And this is ordinary wafers. But by faith. The same way the Holy Ghost made the word become flesh. The Holy Ghost can make the flesh become the word. Hallelujah. So the Holy Ghost takes this flesh. And changes it into a literal spiritual substance. That the moment you take this. It's not just going to your stomach. Because the Bible says the body which is the word. Is able to go beyond your bones and marrows. And to the joints and is the discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. It can purify a man's conscience. So when blood is crying against you. And saying, are you supposed to succeed in life? Are you not supposed to be a victim? And the devil says, were you not part of those drinking and smoking? You say yes. And the moment he wants to execute that judgment, the blood comes in between you. And Jesus says, how about this? How about the price? How about the price that was paid? And so Satan wants to work another formula. And that formula is ignorance. So although the price has been, has been paid, he comes to many believers and convinces them that the price has not been paid or the principle to activate that reality in their lives. There are people right now who will look at this communion and just think it's a ritual. That's why the Bible says, be careful when you take the communion. If your heart is not truly committed to God and you take the communion, the Bible says, for this purpose, some are weak and some even do sleep. That means taking the communion in a way that mocks God can kill a man. The same way it can give life. Tonight, the life of God is in that blood of Jesus that was shed. And as we take this prophetically and symbolically, I want you to know that mighty things will happen in this place. That's why I gave you revelations. Many of you, as you take this communion, imagine yourself standing at the gates of your families. And looking at the assaults of the devil. And as you lift up this communion, you say, Lord, behold, this is the evidence that I should walk out of this age-long thing. This is the evidence. This is my evidence. This is my school fees. When Satan says, after all, you committed an abortion. You say, Satan is not a lie. But this is the evidence. The speaking blood that speaks mercy, that judges every other voice. When the devil looks and says, you will remain barren. Did they not covenant your family? You lift it and say, this is my evidence. The body and the bread. This is a sign that Jesus died. And Jesus looks from his throne and says, Satan, you had him. Give way. And he gives you way to walk out of that prison. Many people will be healed tonight. I mean it from the depths of my heart. Many restorations will happen tonight. Some of you may not even be able to hold this bottle. I tell you. Because I'm about to pray. That the power of the highest. That overshadowed Mary. That it will come upon this communion. Shetakatabaladaba. 
Everybody rise up. Just blast in tongues for five minutes. Ratatakapa. The speaking blood. The speaking blood. The speaking blood. The atoning blood. The speaking blood. The atoning blood. The speaking blood. He says, Joshua Selman, not guilty. Joshua Selman, not guilty. Yes, you sin, but the blood speaks. The blood speaks. Let him go free. Let her go free. I paid it with my life. Hear me. Hear me. Revelations 11 and 12 begins to tell us that Satan is called the accuser of the brethren. When they caught the woman who was in adultery, the Bible says they caught her in the very act. That means they didn't even allow her to take her bath. With all the evidences, they dragged her to Jesus. And Jesus said, he who does not have sin, cast the first stone. And when they left, he said, woman, where are your accusers? That's what satanic altars do. They lift up accusations. Legal accusations. That will keep you in sickness. Legal accusations. That you will not get that job. Legal accusations. That the marriage will not come. But tonight. As you leave the communion. The speaking blood. The blood of the Lord Jesus that speaks that speaks that advocates hallelujah everybody shout the blood that speaks the blood that sets free the blood that redeems the blood that satisfies justice now listen listen before I begin to administer the communion we are going to do it very fast I tell you I sense the anointing of God strong on me because after this I'm going to lay hands on people hallelujah listen there are two prayer points we are going to pray the first one Isaiah 53 verse 1 it says who has believed our report so this is for those who believe the report there are people who have not believed the report so the communion will not make any sense to you but tonight who has believed this report who has believed that the blood speaks I don't care what religion you belong to I don't care what you have done or not done tonight first prayer point Lord I believe your report lift your voice and pray I believe I believe Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. I believe you died for me. You shed your blood, which represents your life as the highest price. Greater love had no man than this, than a man laid down his life, than a man laid down his life by shedding his blood. 
lay down his life hallelujah hallelujah I wrote a book years ago it never got to be published the title of the book is not guilty it was a revelation I hope that when God permits us to start writing books and publishing it I believe that that's one of the books that will set people free not guilty everybody say not guilty I want you to look at all the things you have done right and say because of the blood I am not guilty look at all the things that you have done wrong and say because of the blood I am not guilty yes I stole money but because I believe this report I am not guilty yes I served idols it's true that I went to the shrine but because of the speaking blood I am not guilty atonement remission liberty hallelujah hallelujah last prayer point in one minute i like you to pray radically mention all the things you need the blood to speak over tonight lift your voice and begin to pray please take it seriously lord let the blood speak there is a chain over my life let the blood speak tonight this terminal disease this barrenness this mental backwardness the speaking blood we invoke the power of the speaking blood hey. over my marital life access to wealth and prosperity over my spiritual life I invoke the power of the speaking blood of the speaking blood hallelujah hallelujah let's have all the heads of department please quickly quickly let's save time mighty things will happen in this place listen listen we are going to start from outside I know that I know that many of us have taken communion in our churches some we do it every week and you just think it's a formula to satisfy hunger tonight you will know that there is a power you watch what happens in this place as we begin to take the communion because i'm about to pray without the holy spirit this is zobo and wafers but the power of the highest shall overshadow it hallelujah I'll serve the heads of department. You take it quickly. I tell you, see, some of you, as you take this communion, things will begin to happen. Not just miracles. You will know that something is happening to you. Listen. The Bible says, I will show signs in the heavens and signs in the earth. It said, blood, fire, and smoke. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let the power of the highest overshadow this. You left two sacraments with the church. The first is the doctrine of baptisms, buried with Christ and risen with him. The second is the communion, the mystery of our union 
partakers of his suffering that have qualified in the sufferings of Christ and now to walk in the glory that follows Holy Spirit rest upon this in the name of Jesus let this communion be empowered it ceases to just be mortal liquid let this contain the power of God I give this communion a voice in the spirit that the moment it is taken let it begin to speak over altars let it speak over the works of darkness let the fire of the Holy Ghost come upon this communion in the name of Jesus Christ worship team are you ready you minister to us powerfully everyone just begin to pray in tongues they will direct you i will serve the heads of department quickly and then they'll coordinate it you start coming from outside non-stop until we are done please be praying in tongues the moment you take it hallelujah listen it's going to be in this order you pick the bread just one piece you take the cup and then you put the cup here and just go back i'm sure that we're going to need some more cups so please make sure we coordinate ourselves well hallelujah thank you jesus in that same night when he took of the bread he said this is my body just take a piece Lord, we do this with reverence. Go ahead, take it, take it. And then pick the cup, just pick one. All right, very quickly, outside, start rushing to come. The power of God is so strong here. Just be praying as you are coming. Quickly, quickly, please. Just pick one, take the drink and move. Welfare, please walk with us. Let's let's have replenishing very quickly. The speaking blood. 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 As you go back to your seat, begin to pray and prophesy. Please keep coming outside. Hurry up, hurry up. Thank you, Jesus. Yokes are breaking. The blood is speaking. The blood is speaking. The blood is speaking. Please, those taking it, save time. Save time, do it very fast. Jesus. 
Jesus. We give you praise for the power of the blood. Sick bodies are getting healed. The Lord is healing people. The blood is speaking healing. Say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Call the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Save time, those outside. of God you are taking in the very life of God the mystery of communion
very quickly to the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27 my God, the power of the Holy Ghost is strong in this place. Let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your home. Let hope rise. Worshippers, go and take your own quickly. Isaiah 10, 10, 27. Isaiah 10, 27. And it shall come to pass in that day. Which day? Which day? Which day? That the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder. And his yoke from off your neck. He said, and the yoke shall be destroyed. Because of the anointing. I didn't just choose to do this. Trust me. It is hard work to lay hands on everybody in this place. Hallelujah. There are three things that you will receive as I lay hands on you. It's important you know. Number one. Many of you are going to receive fresh unction. Fresh unction. You will know that there is an upgrade in your spiritual life. The second thing that you are going to receive is a breakthrough anointing upon your life. Breakthrough, breakthrough. The Bible says that you shall receive, the yoke shall be taken because of the anointing. We need, not only will you receive breakthroughs, hallelujah. And the third thing is that as I lay hands on you, those who are sick, let her try and take it. Please, she must take it. It's the power of the Holy Spirit. No matter what it is, if she can't stand, just take her somewhere. Please, just if, if they are done, just move the tables. Hallelujah. You will be healed, the third thing. These three things will come upon you. Please, someone, can you just get a rack or the tissue? Just clean this quickly, please. Again, we are going to start from outside. It's going to be a quick match. As you march, just lay your hands and say, Lord, as these hands come upon me, many of you are so used to laying on of hands. You, you experience it every day and every time. When Benny Hinn was laying hands on the people, Ora Roberts looked at him and said, Benny, don't just lay hands on them. Give them something. Give them something. Hallelujah. The laying on of hands is even a doctrine in the spirit. Hallelujah. Father, let your power come upon this oil. Let there be breakthroughs. Worshippers, I need you to be in the spirit and I need you to give a sacrifice of worship. Let it not stop at all the instruments. I tell you, there is a heavy anointing on me right now. Ushers, we will need you. So that those who fall, um, we can coordinate them. Pray for one minute. Say, Lord, let something come upon my life. Especially those who are coming from outside Zaria. I give the chains. I give the chains. I give the chains. 
Lord, may your power come upon my hands. May they become the hands of the Christ. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Please come quickly. I give the chase for Take the fire. Fresh. 
Hallelujah. Now I'll lay hands on two of the rows together. Just hold the mic for me.
Everywhere. 
miracles everywhere. Right now, right now. Say, email us. Email us. Oh, Lord Jesus, we give you the glory. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I won't do much. Next week is miracle service. We'll have time to do a lot of great things. But the power of God is very strong here. Father, I declare. Let the blood begin to speak. Right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the blood begin to speak now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the blood begin to speak now. Let the blood begin to speak now. Let the blood begin to speak now. Let the blood begin to speak outside. Let the blood begin to speak inside. Against every voice that is not of God. I command, let the life of God that has paid for everything that the devil attempts to hold you captive for, be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Satan, the price has been paid. Release them now. Release them now. The price has been paid. Be free now. Be healed now. Receive restoration now. Receive breakthrough now. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Please, let's have the announcements very quickly. We're out of time. Do not miss next week's Friday. It's going to be a very unique miracle service. Hallelujah. Let me just minister to a few people very quickly. Hallelujah. Where's the gentleman that came from Abuja? I know that a number of people came. The one who had a chat with our head of protocol. Where is he? No, no, I know that there are, there are some people that came from Abuja. I'll see you differently. But there is somebody specifically. The power of God is strong in this place. Please, can you identify the person? Let me have the person very quickly. Okay, is it Abuja or Abia? Abia, Abuja. Okay, while they are looking for that one, where's the person who came from Abia? Is he around? The person from Abia, please, if I call your case, run out quickly. Is it Pofi or Kofi? Someone from Abuja, please, just come out quickly. Brother, you came all the way because you were looking for something. Lift your hands. Look at me. May you go back another man. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. This is not just a normal hand laying. My God, give him something. Take it now in the name of Jesus Christ. You will never be the same. It will burn in you like electricity. It's a new level of unction and wisdom and grace. Oh, that's a person on the floor. Addiction. We break that gay spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And we break alcoholism. Satan, you made a mistake. We curse it. Let him go now. And someone lay hands on him. I stretch my hands now. Let him go. Out. Out. Come out of him now. The set that came from Abuja, where are they? There is a set that came from Abuja. Please, if I call your case, just hurry up quickly. You're the guys that came from... Okay, quickly. I pray for you that God will feel your hunger in the name of the Lord Jesus. That whatever it is that made you to come seeking for God, may you find it. Lord, I pray that they will find you in the name of the Lord Jesus. 
may they find you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Where's the lady that came from Portacot? Villary. Portacot. She's not here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the. Where is she? She's gone. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Those altars will be caused now. Let her go. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I release you and I release your family. Be free in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, is there any other person who came from anywhere outside Zaria? Please come quickly. I just feel like, please save our time. We're out of time. Very quickly, very quickly, come and line up here. Thank you for lifting. The hunger you have. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Look at where people Thank come from Lord. every week. Thank you for lifting. Hallelujah. From where? From where? Eh? Sorry. Kaduna. All Kaduna. Abuja. Ibadan. Kwara State. Mina, Joss, Abuja. Look at where people come from. Every week, they leave that distance. Yet there are some of us who are just a stone throw here. I want to pray for you people. May you get something. Please believe it. I'm going to lay my hands very quickly on you. Father, let something come upon them. Take it, take it now. Take it, 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 take it. Take it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May grace come upon you to do wonders and do mighty things. I prophesy understanding. Let your understanding be open in the name of Jesus Christ. And every power that limits you, I lift it off your life right now. In the name of Jesus, God bless you and thank you for coming. We celebrate you. Hallelujah. If you're worshiping with us for the first time, please, I'd like you to come out quickly. Even if you're just going back, come out quickly while I take the announcements. We're out of time. Hallelujah. If this is your first time, please just come out while I take the announcement. God bless you. God bless you. Let's listen to the following announcements, please, very quickly. We're happy to announce that the forms for School of Ministry are finally available. Hallelujah. Now, listen, the forms are free but limited, very limited. Hallelujah. Please don't be emotional about picking the forms. Don't pick the form and stop someone else from attending the school of ministry. If you stay far, it's not going to be possible for you to come. The classes are weekend classes, just once a week, Saturday. Sometimes we could have fixed classes. It's a four month program. Immediately after, um, immediately after the grace, just meet the protocol is on the basis of first come first serve there's no favoritism i know who i am from this i know your father first come no fighting please coordinate and organize yourselves i believe they made much hallelujah praise the lord this is to announce the wedding solemnization between justina jacob please just be patient those of you in front justina jacob and isa augustine hallelujah the wedding takes place tomorrow right 19th tomorrow at foundation of jesse church in kaduna the color is baby pink and mint green this is from the media and productions department anyone who is going back to mina should please meet with the media department please those who came from mina as you're going back just meet with the media department hallelujah after the meeting this is from the welfare and hospitality department Donut and Zobo is available immediately after the meeting. Just outside you can get. Project 10,000 is still on. Please, please be a part of it. Involve your loved ones and everybody and God will bless you. Hallelujah. You can book for counseling immediately after the meeting. Just right here with the protocol and logistics. Free bus is available immediately after the meeting. Okay. Um, those going to Congo and Shika. Only those going to Congo and Shika should wait at the projector stand. Please, if you are not going to Congo and Shika, I believe you can get the bus somewhere else. But only those going to Congo and Shika 
you wait at the projector stand outside immediately after the meeting the orions present the worship galore the title is the risen king the date is sunday 20th april time is 4 p.m venue is third equa church new extension be behind christ gospel church samaru hallelujah if you do not have this you can pick one is free you can get it with the ushers those of you worshiping with us for the first time thank you so much for coming this is koinonia we love you we honor and we celebrate you can we appreciate god for your lives <laughs> hallelujah this is not our usual venue but we meet every friday may the lord bless you and honor you may you take the fire and change your territory in jesus name stretch your hands saints of god as we bless them and prophesy upon their lives may the lord bless you may you encounter the grace of god in unusual ways i pray that the hand of god will be strong upon your life whatever has not been working in your life we command it to begin to work now in the name of jesus we bless you with the presence of god we bless you with a fresh desire for the things of the spirit in the mighty name of jesus christ i pray thank you so much i'd like you to follow the ushers they'll just have your details and they'll welcome you on our behalf god bless you thank you very much. hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.